Hi everybody, it's Susan and Penny here from the Pretty Urban Farm and we're going to talk to you a little today about um, crown gall and unfortunately we found it in one of our most favorite rose bushes. And this rose here that you see is called the varietal de Bologna. It's Italian and it has these beautiful pink stripes, pepperminting, it's kind of like a peppermint rose which is really pretty um, but unfortunately uh, it got some it got a kind of disease and what were you gonna say sweetie and, um, we, had to cut it down. we had to cut it down and we'll show you what it looked like so here I cut down this massive trunk our uh, rose bush variety was was grafted into a tree and I'm it was sure. beautiful. But don't touch it with your hand, sweetie. I want to show you something. We don't want to touch the disease part. So we're going to show you what it looks like. Let's see if you can spot it right there. You see it? It's kind of bumpy. It looks different from the rest and of the bush. Look at this part. And that part's all dead and dying. And unfortunately, we could not save it. So let's but see if I can get... Maybe we can Close save up. the rose. We might be able to save the roses. So what we're going to do once I get a nice shot of the crown goal. You see it? There it is. Right there. I can't see. Yuck. I it's like a big it. growth. Where? Right there. Right here. Oh, yeah. yeah. So it's pretty nasty. <laughs> and once it's infected, it kills the whole tree trunk. Now, um, usually you can, you can, uh, you have to dig it out. You have to dig the whole bush out. But this trunk was already so far gone that I just kind of pushed it over and it broke. And I'll show you what that looks like too. So this should be green. It's not green, is it? No. No, it's dead and brown and yucky. So I cleaned up the area around the rose bush. And see, it still has some nice green, lively stalks and stems. Um, and here is the trunk of it that I pulled out that kind of just knocked over. Uh, normally, people suggest, people who know lots about roses, suggest that you, just let me finish, they suggest that you dig out the whole bush and you get out all of the roots from the ground so that the disease does not spread to any more plants. And then they recommend that you don't replant for another two years just to make sure that disease is gone. Yeah, what did Penny wants to tell you something? And we can usually keep the roses. Well, we can keep the rose as long as it's healthy, huh? So we're going to keep this one that was um, one of two roses that were left on this beautiful tree. When we first moved in, this tree was gorgeous. And I will be the first to admit, I don't know a lot about roses. So it might have been bad pruning on my part. Uh, it could have been any reason. I, there are so many reasons why a bush or a plant gets crown gall. Unfortunately, we got it on one of our most favorite rose bushes. So we're gonna have to take it out. But I did tell Penny that we can keep the green stems. And the rose. And the rose and see what happens. I'm gonna cut this way down to the base. Spider. Yep, <laughs> there's a spider. Way down to the base here of the dirt. I'm gonna cut it down and then I'm going to make sure, Penny, that we clean our tools because we don't want to spread this disease. It's like spreading germs. When you have germs on your hands and then you touch other surfaces, you spread those germs to other surfaces, huh? Or when you have a cold. Yeah, when you have a cold and you sneeze into your hand, you have germs on your hand and then you wipe someone else, wipe their face or something, which is gross, so we don't do that. Um, you could give them your germs. Well, it's the same with the gardening tools. If we were to take our tools that I use to cut back this rose bush and then I were to use those tools to cut another plant back, I might transfer the disease to another plant. So it's really, really important that you clean your tools. Um, and I definitely need to do that because I'm not very good at it, but I'm gonna do it now because I don't want any, other of my, any, of, any of my other plants to get crown gall because we hate to have to lose plants like that. So unfortunately, that is a rough part of gardening sometimes. Can you say something? Yes. Please kill the spider. Please kill the spider. We'll take care of that after this. So thanks for tuning in. Remember to subscribe. Please subscribe to our channel and share it with all your friends. It's a great way to um, get little tips and tricks for 
tips and tricks. I kind of hate that phrase, but it's a good way to um, get some hands-on experience, uh, some, some easy to digest knowledge for those of us with kids who like to help us in the garden, and we love that. Um, and it's a good way to encourage you to get that hands-on experience, to go out and do it for yourself, because if we can do it, you can do it, <laughs> right? All right, well, that's it from here, from the Pretty Urban Farm, where we learn by doing. Go by sharing. We'll see you next time.